All praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Dumb honors to the apostles and elders, GMS in New York, and honors to you, brothers out there that's uh, teaching truth to the four corners of the earth. My name is Maya Kala Nagab, and with the Chicago branch of GMS, and this is part five in the final video um, series. Um, it's a lot. This is the final um, uh, video in the series. Uh, Simon Altoff is an idiot. You know, so basically this guy is teaching that the so-called Negroes and uh, so-called Haitians and so-called West Indians are not Israelites, according to Deuteronomy 28. And also, our brethren in West Africa are not Israelites. The Igbo, the uh, Khan people, which consists of the God, the uh, Uwe people, and the uh, Shante people, and uh, also uh, the other, uh, it's like... Uh, there's a, like groups in uh, Africa going like the Limba and, and you know so and so on, you know. So uh you know let's, let's get to uh, cutting this guy false doctrine. This is how bad it was because there was no food. So let's look at that. So it says and if you look at it, the stronghold of these empires that I just spoke to you about together make up where these people rule today. That means wanted to buy slaves who could afford in America. Egypt, Peshat reading only. So, all of you love to quote that, unfortunately, again, brought to Egypt. The verse says that Israel will be taken back to Egypt. Doesn't say, Mitzrayim doesn't say America. It doesn't say Europe. First of all, first of all, uh, um, in the Torah, in the Bible, it's not going to say uh, America. America is known by different spiritual names like Babylon, um, <clears throat> Basra, okay, and, you know, also Egypt, you know. But anyway, man, let's get to it. Egypt is literally Egypt. Peshat reading only. So if it's Egypt, then we have the historian Josephus Flavius who tells us in history that Many Israelites were put into ships by Romans and they were taken to Egypt. And then it says there was a surplus of, of slaves and nobody would buy them. A surplus of slaves. Nobody would buy those slaves. Whilst when you were brought to America, even though there was many of you, although America was a one, one country where the least slaves were brought, least. You know, we're talking about numbers not exceeding 600,000. Less than 600,000 people were brought to 600,000, 600, it don't matter. You put your hands on the children of Israel. You know, that's irrelevant, man. All right. Anyway. America and slavery. And, but everybody wanted to buy slaves who could afford in America. Everybody that could. But see, he think what it says, uh, no man shall buy you. All right. He think that that's what that literally means. not what we're talking about. No man shall buy you means you should be not saved. You know, so. But anyway, let's, let's get into it, man. You know, um. Before to buy a slave, didn't give up the chance to buy a slave. Whereas in Egypt, when this prophecy in Deuteronomy 28:68 was applied, it applied literally to Israel. It is fulfilled in the past. It has nothing to do with the present or 400 years ago from Africa. So God is not uh, some kind of a, a, a demagogue who sits over there and waits for his judgment to fall. You know, 50. See, this guy don't know. He don't know Torah, man. All right, so let's get into it. All right. It's a lot for this phone taking so long. Um.
he's in most high. This, this, no, I mean, this, that, that sit and waste his prophecy be fulfilled. That's a lot. It says, well, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and return not thither, but watereth the earth and make it bring forth and bud that it may see see give it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void me it shall not return it should return to him empty but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing where to i sent it all right so whatever the most has say is gonna happen gonna happen man all this prophecy uh, in the scriptures in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. All right. And other prophecy, man. Uh, let's go to another one. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. Uh, it says, what? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision, meaning the prophecy, and make it plain upon tables that he that he may run that readeth for the vision is yet for an appointed time for the vision is yet for an important time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it would not tarry yeah so the most most i do wait on um wait on uh wait on prophecy to be fulfilled that he spoke of man all right, because a thousand years like one day to your house, man. All right, but anyway, whatever he says, whatever he says, it's gonna come true, you know. So, you know, this guy, so let's go to Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy 28, which everybody think they, uh, an expert on, you know, the uh, heathens and, and, uh, he heathens and uh you know the uh you know the bugged out jakes that uh into that Judaism, you know, especially E half forever and, and it's this uh heathen Elam Elam Mike Clown uh Simon uh Alta, you know. <clears throat> It says Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way I spake unto thee, right? So, you know, he talking to, uh, he most had talked to all 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Now, the time during uh, Joseph and the Romans, uh, the three major tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, was still over there, which are the answer the so called uh, Negroes, um, West Indians, and uh, Haitians. You know, because the other tribes, they was, uh, you know, going out of that land. You read of, of um, Second Ezra 13, 39, and uh, 48, um, which I'm going to read from uh, the Bible. Um, yeah, this book uh, from the Apocrypha, or you get this at, uh, you get this out of the 1611 King James Bible, which you can order online. All right, so I'm going to read right here. It says, uh, second address, 1340. All right, through, um, uh, 45. All right. So it says what? And where is thou sawest, he gathered another piece of multitude unto him. Those are the 10 charges which will carry away prisoners out of their own land. The time of, uh, Hosea, the king, who Chalmanazar, the king of Syria, led away captive. And he carried them over the water, so they came into another land. Right, let's talk about Syria. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into the further country where never mankind dwelt. Right, into the area, because everybody was dwelling over there in the Middle East, over there in that area, east. All right. That they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered to Euphrates River by the narrow passage of the river. They got into some ships. For the most high then show signs when the hell stood the flood, right? Could the could your phrase water flood very dangerous in the springtime? Alright, so this happened during the springtime. 
um, a little bit after 722 uh, BC. All right. Um, till they was passed over. For through that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region called Azra. And Azra means far away when you look up the etymology of it. All right. So, um, all right. And the brother Kazak had um, broken down um, far away. Um, they broke down to Azra uh, in this video. So, you know, you can type in uh, far away, you know, in a blue letter Bible and stuff, and it'll come up. All right. So, I just show you that. So how could this how could this be the whole nation of Israel when the ten tribes they was over here in the Americas, you know, during the time um when the Romans was uh putting hell on the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, man. All right, so that's that's another uh hole in their false doctrine. All right. And you have to bring D into Egypt again with ships. So all twelve tribes, they was they was uh in physical Egypt first. And then again, like I said, all twelve tribes wasn't present when the Romans um uh, um majority of the twelve majority of the uh the uh twelve tribes wasn't present when uh the Roman siege Jerusalem was oppressing the Israelites, man. Alright. And you know, brought brought them um when I'm talking about the Israelites, I mean the southern kingdom was the only ones over there. Not the Nordic King, but Jordan Nordic King, it was going over there, man. All right. So it's not talking about uh when Josephus said that that they brought the Southern Kingdom to Egypt, man. No, man, that's only three tribes. You know, how could three tribes make up the whole nation of Israel? That makes no sense. All right. So it's talking about what and you have us from bringing to Egypt again with ships. What is that Egypt? America, man. All right. Land of the um um Land of the bondage, all right. Let's go uh Deuteronomy five and six. All right. It says uh Deuteronomy five and six I am Yahweh thy God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of of uh bondage. All right. So what the Israelites end up um right, so I am Yahweh, all right. They brought the uh the land of Egypt, Montazaron, uh, the house of uh bondage, all right, Ibad. All right. So it's the spiritual name of bondage, man, and what Egypt means. All right, Mataz Matazaranya. All right, Matazaranya, Egypt, land of cock, uh, double straits. All right, so there you go, man. Uh, double straits. All right, so let's look up straits online. All right. The narrow patch of water, stretch of water, strikes. Dif difficulty, trouble, crisis. All right, let's see more. Everything that hot, a water, a jam, a hole, a bind, <laughs> a scrape. All right. And you know, that's, that's what America is, you know. Uh, Let's go here to Revelation. Come on, eleven. Eight. 
and their dead bodies shall lie in the street in the gay city. Talking about you Israelites, all right? Could you go to um, Ezekiel 37 1? Right. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out. And the spirit of your house set me down in the midst of that which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them around. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Lo, they were very dry. All right. What happened to dead when you dead, man? Your body dry up all the bones, you know. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thee bones to live. And I answered, O your howl, thou knowest. And again, he said unto me, prophesied upon thee bones and say to him, O ye dry bones, hear the word of your howl. Right? These brothers out in the street. So only videos, man. All right. Thus say Yahweh unto the bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. All right. I will lay sunos upon you, will bring you up, bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. All right. So, so the dead bodies in the street is talking about uh, uh, you Israelites here in, here in America, man. All right. All right, like I said, man, um, everybody should lie in the streets of the great city. Well, everybody said America is the great city. What well, did Donald Trump say? What we should make America great again, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Was it spiritually called Sodom and Egypt? All right. So why is America known as Egypt, man? Because they system based on Egypt. You go to. Uh, Washington D.C. the monuments. You go to Southern Illinois, it's called what? Little Egypt. You go over there in uh, Tennessee, the city called Memphis. That is an Egyptian city. All right. So Egypt, man. Just... Double straights. <laughs> a country. Uh, all right. Metaphor of Jerusalem to persecuting. All right. The uh, Mashiach and his followers. So liking to be liking the Egyptian treating the Jews, right, man. All right, and they what well, they persecuting who the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Those that believe in um, yeah, yeah, how why you how shy. All right, it says so, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, right? All the uh, Sodom, all the homosexual activities going over here, man. Other other uh, set sets vices. All right, where also our Lord was crucified, right? All right, how will you how shall I crucify over here? His teachings twisted. Um, they put up a false image of of uh, of uh, him, man, being an Edomite, so called white man. All right, so that's how he crucified, man. Okay, so I just established that in Deuteronomy 26 today, Egypt is talking about um, uh, America. All right, it's also talking about uh bondage you know meta metaphorically all right come on now uh, not to enter it So, uh, it says, what? And your house from bring thee into Egypt again with ships, but where I spake on to thee, right? Because, you know, we could, you could walk to Egypt like in three days and stuff. And I just established that, uh, that lad, he talking about Josephus, said that, um, that the prophecy being fulfilled, no, it was, because all 12 tribes of Israel wasn't present, man. All right, only uh three tribes and a small amount of uh of uh the Nordic you know, majority of them was over here in the Americas when the Romans um brought um uh the southern kingdom into Egypt, man. All right, during that time of rule, man. All right, so we you know we poked a hole in that false doctrine. It said by where I spain on today, thou shall see it no more again, right? As a whole nation, we we wouldn't see the land of Israel again, man. All right, as a whole nation, and there you should be sold 
onto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. All right, then there you should be sold is, t is talking about uh, the Most High giving up, giving up the uh, 12 tribes of Israel. All right, uh, during slavery starting in uh, the late, late 15th century, which is 1492, when we went down in, in um, Spain to Portugal, they came over here and they started to uh, enslave the Nordic Kingdom. Um, and the, it started on the island of uh, Hispaniola. The Nordic Kingdom, uh, Ephraim and and uh, Simeon, all right, on that island and um, called Espanol, later divided into Haiti and uh, Dominican Republic, all right. That's why there you should be sold unto your enemy, bomb and bomb. What does sold mean? The Most High gave us over unto our enemies. He gave us up unto our enemy. Why could we disobey the law, statute, and commandments? All right, so let's look up what soul is here. All right, and I'm going to go to a scripture and show you that soul means give up my car. All right. Um, to sell, to sell, to be sold, to sell, to be given over to death. Right, man, that was that was death, man, being given over to the heathens, man. All right, given over to Esau, so-called white man, Ishmael, the Arabs, and uh, Ham, the Africans, man. All right. Now, all right. See, just say to It says right here, we'll start with Judges 2 11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh and served Balaam. And they forsook Yahweh, their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, which followed other gods, and of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves to them, and provoked Yahweh to anger. And they forsook Yahweh and served Baal and Ashroth. And the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers and that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies now did the most high give did yahweh give um um did yahweh get paid <laughs> get paid from the heathens no man he gave them up man most i don't need no money man so he he gave them up he let he let the heathens take them man all right i mean it just <laughs> like come on man all right, there you go, my car, man. There you go again, man. All right. I mean, the Most High gave Israel up, man. He was no longer with them. He let the heathens uh, overcome them, man. All right. I'm really getting saying the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel. He delivered them to the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their image round about so they could not any longer stand. So they cannot any longer stand before their enemies. All right. All right. So, you know, there you go, man. Uh, all right. I think it's another one. I believe. Yeah, it's another one in uh, three. All right. All right. It says, what? Well, Judges 3 8. And the anger, anger right here. Judges 3 and 7. I'm going to start right here. Judges 3 and 5. The children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Moabites, the Perizzites, the Hittites, and the Jeb Jeb uh, Jebusites. All right. All, all these Canaanites. All right. A different family. And they took their daughters to be their wives and gave their daughters to their sons and served their gods. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh and forgot Yahweh their power and served Balaam in the groves. All right. Therefore, the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel and he sold them, sold them into the hand of uh, Kushron Rush 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 Aftayim, king of Mesopotamia. And the children of Israel served Sir Kush Kush Kushan Rush. Of Daniel eight years. All right. 
Yeah, this is, you know, so did the most has said, uh, <laughs> did he actually sell the king with money? No, man, he just gave him, he let the heathens, he gave him, gave the uh, 12 tribes of Israel up, man, to this heathen, man. He let, he let um, the king of Mesopotamia take them as slaves, you know, because they disobeyed the law, statute, commandments, man. The most I didn't have no money, said sold, and just like this. All right, so I just proven that sold means that what Yahweh gave us up unto the other nations, man. All right. Says, um, you be sold unto you, me. So I just proved the most I gave up from bond man to bond women, which means slavery. All right, and no man shall buy you. I mean, nobody should save us, man. All right, and what's that? That's the example of that the uh, opposite example of that is in what Exodus, uh, so. This is 15, 16. It says, What fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thy arm? They shall be still as a stone till thy people pass over. Oh, yeah, how? Till the people pass over, which you had purchased. Right, when most had, most had bought us, I mean, most had sales. Save us from um the the save us from the uh, bondage and actually physical physical Egypt man, all right. Most High deliver us out of that situation man. He he redeemed us man, all right. So that's what they talk. That's what he talking about in the Deuteronomy twenty eight. Mean no man should buy you. And nobody should save us man, all right. Nobody should save us in that situation. We gotta uh we have to drink that wine with dregs in it man. We have to endure that punishment. You know, for you know, this diet purchase on uh, Kana. All right. 